In this video today we are going to go over updating uh, the firmware for an 8100 controller uh, connected uh, directly with a microsync. Um, one thing to note is there are two versions of firmware in the ASIC-1 8100 controller. Um, one is the main CPU firmware, which is noted here, uh, 810A v2.4. That is a hex file. And then there is also a version of BACnet firmware, which um, in versions 2.4 and earlier can only be seen uh, using a BACnet command. Um, uh, noted here. Um, in the future they did uh, add that option where you could see that firmware version on the controller and we'll see that today when we update. Um, the first thing we'll do is update the uh, main CPU firmware and to do that we're uh, directly connected with a microsync and we're going to use the flash dev uh, program. So we'll shut expert down and we'll go into flash dev and we want to make sure we're connected to or we have the flash device selected as a 8100. We want to know the address, uh, the baud rate, and of course we're connected with COM4 we'll go into the archive and we are going to go from 2.4 version to 2.5 so we'll hit open and then hit go and it usually takes about 30 seconds we'll see the progress bar go across Okay, we're complete, so we can close this. We'll start expert. Okay, so now we can see that our main CPU firmware has been updated to V2.5. Now we can use the update button to update the uh, BACnet firmware. So we'll hit update and we are going to go from 2.4 to 2.7 R1. So we'll select that, hit open, and it will immediately start downloading that firmware and you can see this yellow uh, bar progress bar going across as it does the update. Okay, we're completed with the upload, hit OK, and now we can go into the controller. And now we can see uh, our version of BACnet firmware, which this um, feature was added in after 2.4. 
Um, it's always a good idea to reset the controller after a firmware update. And this video is complete on updating the firmware uh, connected via MicroSync.